So in today's video, let's see how you can use Sync iOS data transfer app to transfer data between Android and iOS devices. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it would be highly appreciated. You know how tedious this process of transferring data between Android and iOS device is. So Sync iOS data transfer is a tool which you can use to transfer files between your Android and iOS devices. You can transfer files from your older Android or iOS device to your new Android or iOS device or vice versa. Or you can back up your data to your Mac or Windows computer and restore directly from there. Now before moving forward, full disclosure, they are sponsoring this video so huge thanks to them for supporting the channel. So to get started with the app, download the app first like you would download any other app. Then install it on your Mac or Windows computer. Once that's all done, open the app and the first thing you will see is the three options, transfer, restore and backup. In transfer mode, you can transfer data directly between two devices. That is between iOS and iOS, Android and Android or Android or iOS. In backup mode, you can backup your devices to your computer locally and restore it later whenever you need. In restore mode, you can restore the backed up data from few different places like from your local backup, iTunes backup, iCloud backup and iTunes library. So today let's transfer data between Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and this iPhone 11 Pro. So first of all, you need to connect this to the computer. So let's do it. So just connect it. Or you can also go to settings, then enable the developer options from there. So you might not see this developer option at the end. So you need to go to about phone, then into the software information, then you will see this build number. So tap on it for a few times. And after that, you will see this developer options down there. Then enable USB debugging from here. As you can see, I've already enabled it. So now go back to the home screen. Then go to the sync iOS. Then you will see this is connected. And here on the app, you can see it's now connected. So let's go to the iPhone 11 and connect this device. Let's grab our lightning cable. So if you happen to have this USB-C to lightning cable and you don't have any USB-C port, then you can use this little device which converts USB-A port into the USB-C. So let's change the device from here. So you can see we have successfully connected the devices, the iOS and Samsung. So you can choose from where you want to transfer data like you want to transfer them from iPhone to the Android or your Android to iOS. So for this case, we are going to transfer from iOS to Android. Click on next. Now you can select what data you want to transfer like camera roll, photo library, audio and video and contacts, messages, etc. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's transfer all the camera roll. Click on next. And this is now loading the camera roll. So you can see we have 1476 photos. Let's click on next. Click on OK. And now the files are being transferred. So for the SD card to work, we need to enable the permission to give this app the permission to access the SD card. So just go to this Sync iOS app and then select the preference. Then go to SD card permission. Click on that. Go to the side menu and select SD card and then allow access to SD card and allow. So it's done. So now click on retry in the app. It should work. So the files are now transferring. So that's really good to see. And now it is transferring all the images and it will take a couple of minutes. So as you can see, the app has successfully transferred our photos to the Android device. And you can also do this vice versa. That is, you can transfer files from Android to your iOS device. So for this, I would say the app is pretty handy. You can also back it up to your locally to your computer and then you can restore it from the app as well. So if you're looking for an app to transfer data between your Android and iOS device or iOS to iOS device, then you should definitely check this out, the Sync iOS data transfer app. So if you want to take a look at the app, you can download the trial version from the links down below in the description, or you can buy the full version for $29.95. But that's been it guys, that was today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, just click the like button below, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.